And this could be big while Congress Working Committee will be meeting this evening. The meeting is slated for the evening to discuss the drubbing in the recently concluded assembly election. Sources now suggesting that the dissident group within the party, the G23, have suggested Mukul Vasnik for the post of president of the party, which was also not accepted. Let me go across to Ashwarya Kapoor, who's joining us on the phone line. Ashwarya, this comes uh, on the backdrop of reports that Gandhis would submit their resignation. They have refused to these reports. They call it BJP propaganda. But given the drubbing in the recently concluded elections, the results have spoken for themselves and the G23 are active once again. What are you picking up, Ashwarya? Well, it's time that these gimmicks within the Congress party and that Gandhi is trying to muzzle up this... Uh, this anti sentiment needs to end. At the end of the day, they need to smell the reality. They need to get up and they need to understand that uh, from where they have taken the Congress party and where does it stand today. In 2014, that is when the, uh, that is when the Congress's downfall began. And today you see the number of seats Congress has been able to get in these five states. One of the important states, Punjab, Congress has lost and lost how? Because of their internal dynamics, because Priyanka, Vadra and then Rahul Gandhi wanted a comedian of Jyot Singh Sidhu to lead. And then what happened uh, after is a story for all to see. So so all of these gimmicks which Congress Party, uh, according to our sources, creates for itself and then try to deny and then try to test the waters. Because this is just testing. This is like a litmus test which we all have done in our school. They what is the sentiments within the Congress top leadership? And that is why you see all of these kind of reports are first... Uh, are, are, are first very, very easily fluttered in their friendly media houses and then they themselves come out and then deny. So all of this happens because uh, Sonia Gandhi understands, she understands politics like no one else in the Congress party and especially far, far better uh, than Rahul and, and Priyanka Vadra. So very clearly, Sonia Gandhi understands and she knows that there are at least a dozen leaders only looking, looking for that space uh, uh, when, when they feel that Sonia is weak and they can take over the Congress. So she tests it, according to our sources, very, very smartly, still trying to protect whatever uh, little bit is left of the Congress party for Rahul and Priyanka. But how long will the other leaders uh, will just allow the disintegration of Congress party and then concentration? You are seeing the complete opposition space in somewhere or the other is being taken up by the Ahmadmi party. Can the Congress leadership sense it, whether it's the G23 or not? Um, by no, they will not be able to achieve the targets if they're going to continue just by uh, making these statements. They need to come out and take action and action now. Yes, and in that sense, we're uh, watching out for two things immediately. If the Gandhis, Sonia Gandhi, Priyanka Gandhi, Vadra and Rahul Gandhi will quit from their posts and whether or not uh, what the G23 reportedly has suggested, Mukul Vastik for the top Congress post, will that be accepted or who is it that will be voted as the new Congress president if at all that change takes place? Thank you, Ashwarya, for getting us all those details.